five training zones, five heart rate training zones, right? Zone one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, zone one is like 50 to 60 percent of your heart rate. And zone two is 60 to 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, greater than 90, right? And then it'll show us what your exact zones are. So for you, you let's say your zone one, you want to work on fat burn. That would be your zone one. So it'll tell you the exact gold standard numbers of you need to be between this heart rate and this, so X and Y, right? Zone two, same thing. It gives you that nice, you know, breakdown of whether it's 110 to 120 heart rate BPMs. It's showing you where you need to be for your endurance. So zone two would be in endurance or increasing cardio output. Um, zone three would be kind of that middle feature. So that middleman that would just have that VO2 max increase. Zone four, which is higher intensity, is more anaerobic. So if you improve your anaerobic, um, and then zone five is max. So for zone five, not a lot of people get to. It's more for power output and max, and a lot of elite at level athletes get there because your heart rate's so high. So you're using that VO2 max. You're seeing how you consume oxygen, how you use it efficiently. And then it's giving you gold standard data of what heart rate zones you need to be in to start working those different systems. So it's a great way for endurance athletes or everyday athletes just to work on what they need to work on.